our last math lesson of this school year of fourth grade. Today we're going to be talking about time in this lesson, and then I'm going to give you a website link for, to help you with elapsed time in lesson 12.4. So let's head in. This is simply a review of our time, our units of time. So um, I think you know this, but it always helps to review, especially when we get into elapsed time. All right, here we go. All right, so you know this is a clock face. And on the clock face, we have numbers and we have lines. And so let me tell you about those today. First, our clock face has 12 numbers on it, okay? And each number represents an hour, and we know that there are 60 minutes in that hour, and those are the little lines that are on there, and the big lines, too. So you see the one and the two are circled, and those are the hours, and it keeps going around through 12, three all the way through 12. So you can see in between those hours are little lines, and those there's five marks between the numbers, and those are going to represent our minutes, okay? So we have 12 numbers on the clock face, and there's five marks between the numbers, which will help us in our minutes, and we have a total of 60 minutes in an hour. Let's move on. Now, we know in a day, we have 24 hours. So that means that the clock hands need to go around the clock 24 times, okay? Because there's one day and 24 hours. Um, we have 12 hours in daytime, and we have 12, hour, 12, dollars, 12 hours of nighttime. Now, midnight at 12 o'clock in the middle of the night, midnight, begins our morning time. So 12 o'clock, 12.01, 1 o'clock in the morning, okay? And that goes all the way to 11.59 because something special happens at 12 noon. We head into our afternoon. So the morning time is called the a.m. time and the afternoon time is our p.m. time. And that starts at 12.01 in the afternoon all the way until 11.59 um, at nighttime. And then the a.m. starts again. So now let's look at our next clock face. This is the clock face with the minutes mark. So we have the hours on the inner circle and the minutes on the outer circle. Okay, there's still the five marks between. Okay. We still have five marks between the numbers, um, but this and the, those hour hands also going to help you with minutes. And each hour is represented by certain minutes. So it could be 5, 10, 15. So those numbers are going to be used for the hours and the minutes. Okay, so let's do some practice first of uh, in a minute. First of all, when the, uh, the hands are... Um, the minute hands are at the 12 o'clock, we call that o'clock, okay? And when we go to three, we call that, it's going to be five, 10, and 15 minutes, I'm pointing like you can see me point, but you really can't. Um, the three represents 15 minutes, or sometimes we say it's a quarter after the hour, because a quarter is you're gonna see, is just like our fractions that we talked about, it's actually a quarter of the circle. Okay, so we'll say it's a quarter after the hour, or you could say it's 2.15, or you know, 15 minutes after the hour. Then we head over to our number six, which represents 30, because we're counting by fives at each line, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and we have 30 um, minutes. Um, so we could say it's 6.30, Sometimes even people are fancy and they say it's half past because we're actually filling in half the clock. Okay, we have half the circle, half, so we can say it's half past whatever hour we happen to be on. Now let's move to our next um, one. 
and that's going to be our nine. Now this is the trickiest one. Um, it does represent our five minutes all the way around to nine is going to be 45. So it would be 45 minutes after the hour. So it could be 745 or 245 or 1045. And that's how we can tell the time. Um, there's also a phrase that's used called quarter two. Um, be the next hour. Okay, so it's kind of confusing because we say the next hour, but it's not the next hour yet. So we could say it's a 2.45 or it's a quarter to 3 o'clock the next hour. And you can kind of see our little um, fraction clock there. All right. And there's our quarter to the next hour. There you go. All right, so we have 15 quarter after. We have 45 quarter to. Okay, all right, let's go to our next um, slide. And our next slide is going to talk about the hour hand. The hour hand is the shorthand on the clock. And this is called an analog clock, in case you're wondering. It's harder and harder to find these now, but you should know how to tell time on them. All right, so we have our hour hand. And again, it represents the hour. It points to the number, actual numbers on the clock. Now, we like to represent him by this guy, little guy who's running a good race. He's not really in appropriate clothing for a race, but he likes to, we like to think of him as what lap is he on? He's running a long race, and what lap is he on? He's not going super fast. He's kind of like a cross-country runner, and he's just saying, what lap is he on? Okay? Next we have the minute hand. The minute hand is the longer hand. And yes, he's pointing to the big numbers, but we're gonna count the minutes with him. Okay, so let's, um, it points to the, each line, each mark. And it's represented by a guy who's going a little faster. Okay, so this guy is going really fast. And we can ask the question is how many laps? is he doing? So he's going much faster. He is trying to get a lot of laps done and he's going to represent our minutes. Okay. Now each number has a mark. So each little line is going to have a mark. And I want us to remember that as we head in and do some practice towards the end here. Now this is a digital clock. Okay. A digital clock is, um, that you're very familiar with because a lot of clocks and watches and things have digital time. We're going to show you the guys again. Um, the hour hand, the slower guy, he points to the actual numbers on the clock face. Okay, he just wants to know um, what lap is he on? The hours is this position. And what lap is he on? And then we have our minute hand. Okay, it points to the marks on, a, on an analog clock, and he's the faster guy. And we want to know how many laps is he doing. So we got the slower hour hand, who's still getting the race done, just at a slow, uh, he wants to go more distance, then he wants to get the minutes, how many laps to um, get done completely. All right, so let's do some review and practice with these numbers. Um, we can start with our hour hand. Okay, we look at the actual numbers, and there's our hour guy. And we extend the line out a little bit more to know that it is six o'clock. It's after six, it's not touching six, but it's not touching seven yet either. It's in the middle. So we say that it's part of the six o'clock hour. Okay, now let's look at our, um, and that would go in the digital clock just like that. But let's look at the minute hand now. He's pointing to the three, or the clock is pointing to the three, and there's that guy. He's going really fast. And so we're going to count by fives because it's a little easier starting at one. So that's five, then two is 10, and three is 15 minutes. And there's our, our number for six, 15. All right, let's do another one. We have, what time do you think it is? Don't say three, it's not three yet. And I know that when I extend my hand a little bit, it's still in the two o'clock hour. And if you're never really sure on your papers, you should definitely just extend that line a little bit more just to see. Okay, so we are in the two o'clock hour. And let's see how many minutes. Okay, we're at 11. Now, this is 
um, how many minutes? We go all the way around. We can go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 is going to be um, our time. So let's check and see if we're right. And we are. Yay. So let's keep going with another practice. Let's extend the line a little bit. We are at 8. What lap we're on? A little hour hand guy. He's on his eighth lap. Okay. And let's see what our minute is. Um, we want to do 30. So we go around the clock. We know 6 is 30 minutes. And 6, 30. And then we have a little line, which is one minute. And a second line, which is two minutes. So let's see our time. In this case, we have our, oh, well, I got ahead of myself. We have our 30, our 31, and our 32. So our time is actually going to be 8.32. All right, let's do another one. Our hand extended out a little bit, and it's, it's after 11, but you know what? It's not touching the 12 line yet, so it's still 11 o'clock. Okay, so don't get too anxious. That's why I always extend that line out. Okay, so we have 11 o'clock. And let's look at our minute hand. And our fast guy is how many laps is he doing? How many minutes is he doing? Well, let's ex um, extend that out just a little bit. Okay, well, we know that we, are, we started number two is 10 minutes. 11, 12, 13, 14, um, 14. Or you could go backwards and start at 15 and then go backwards one. And you can see that that's 14. So kind of whatever is easiest for you to practice. Um, and then our time is 1114. All right, guys. This is going to sum up our lesson for today on telling time in your units of time picture or paper. Um, and we're going to head over into a lapse time now. And at the morning Zoom meeting, I gave you a link and I showed you and I gave you a link so that you could practice a, a lapse time, which is going to talk about how many minutes has passed. That's what a lapse time is. OK, so we'll talk about that more in Zoom and you'll do some practice with that that link that I gave you and um, signing off for the fourth grade year. Um, thanks for being a great audience, and I will see you at Zoom. Bye-bye.